If you... If you find her... If you somehow find her... Tell her something for me. Tell her... Tell her Cerberus is doing very well. What? Wait, I don't think I owe you any favors here. You'll answer me one question and I'll give it some thought. How's that? I know your question, boy. But ask it anyway. Persephone. My mother. Why did she leave? I... Blood and darkness. Blast. I... frozen overlook, await the first glimpse of the sun to your left, and onward through the cold. Sure hope this works, Nyx. The surface, windswept, racked by freezing cold. Nonetheless, it instills within the prince a sense of awe and the sublime, for it is unlike anything that he has seen. It's beautiful. Is this a cat? Who's there? Um, hello? Hello indeed. Pray, who might you be wandering all the way out here? You're trespassing on private property, you know. Um, you must be Persephone. My name is Zagreus, and I think I might be your son. Out of here. Get out or I shall make you. Out with you. No. So then you are her. I, I don't care if you hate me, but I'm not leaving until I get some answers. I never even knew you existed. Why did you leave me? You died. You... You died. Those burning feet, they... sputtered out when you were born. But... Why are you standing here before me? How? I died? I died? What, you mean permanently died? But I'm alive. Oh, gods. You never even knew I existed either. Alive? Sagrius, he... even kept your name. You live? How can this be? You live? You live? Oh, the cruel fates! My son! Mother... In short, I beat him, finally, though he did everything he could to prevent our meeting here like this. But there's something he wanted me to tell you in the end. He said to tell you Cerberus is doing very well. Ah, uh, he told you that, did he? That's good. That's good. Though, tell me something, Zagreus. How is it that you found me? To have journeyed all this way, I scarce believe it. Zagreus? Ah... Uh. Oh, it's... guess I'm just a little tired, that's all. Not accustomed to the weather, as I think you call it. No. No, that isn't it. It's that... you cannot stay here. 
You can't stay here. Really, you're <laughs> kicking me out? Why? The fates are cruel, Zagreus. You're bound to that place. The same as your father. So they would have us say goodbye for now. My heart soars knowing you live. Then it breaks that our time together was so brief. No, I can come back. I can come back. Now that I found you, he... Maybe he'll just let me come back. You tell him I demand it. And I demand he also tell me how come he, or for that matter, Nyx, never sent notice that you lived. Olympus is all rife with schemers. But I was so naive to think that they were different. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I feel awful. I... I have to go. The stick shall take you then. Oh, Zagreus. Farewell, my son. Won't you come back to me? When you are able, please, come back. I shall be waiting here. However long it takes. However long it takes. <gasps> Can't hold on. I have to get back there. I found her, sir. My mother, she's alive and well, and... Uh, but I just couldn't stay up there for very long. I have to get back to her. You really made it all the way? You must have gotten past your father. That's amazing, lad. But wait, what was she like? What happened to you there? She was... she was great. Nothing like father, more like you a little bit, I guess. Though being on the surface, it just seemed to suck the life right out of me. Even without the wretches of the underworld trying to do me in. But then you had a little time at least. Sounds like you have unfinished business with her there. You got to her this once. Surely you're able to again, isn't that right? It is. I it's have to speak with returned. her. You are late, boy. Have you any idea what time it is? No. Wait, what? I vanquished you in single combat and finally found Mother, and that's all you have to say to me. <laughs> Nonsense. Don't you think I would recall such an event? You can't be serious. You're going to pretend as though it never happened. She wants answers, same as I do. She demands you let me pass. Let me go to her again. Silence. This discussion is over. I hardly think this is the time or place to indulge your overwrought imagination. I know where we sing beautifully, mate. If only Eurydice could hear you singing this right now. Oh, thanks for the sentiment, my friend. It's just... When I sing this song of hers, I... I've this feeling where my heart once was that... Well, perhaps she can. Perhaps she can. Your father fell to you as once his father fell to him. Although you were substantially more merciful. I know it is a bitter victory at best. Though, tell me, what transpired subsequently that you have returned? Did you locate your birth mother? I did. I... she was there. She was where you said she'd be. And more than I imagined, but I had so little time with her. I can't survive up there for very long. Why didn't you tell me I'd just die no matter what? Oh, my child. I say this seldomly, but I did not know. Or, I did not wish to believe that the surface would have such an effect on you. But it seems you share your father's fate, after all. My father's fate? But he is smugly waiting for me every single time I make it there, and seems quite healthy by then, all in all. So, maybe the farther we get from this realm, the worse we get. Because he cast his lot, inheriting the underworld. So I now presume, you are bound to this realm by powers greater even than mine. Tell me something. If you knew that you could only see Persephone for but a moment's time, would you still make the journey to her there? Yes. Yes, I would. I had so many questions left for her. Then go and ask them, child. Set your resolve and find her there again. And use well what brief time you have with one another whilst you can. As mortals do. As mortals do.
manner of fruits and vegetables thrive within the hidden gardens of Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. A world of life, far from the realm of death. What are these things? Is that you? I made it, Mother. the fates that you'd return to me perhaps i ought to be more careful how i speak of them tell me how was your journey what happened father didn't make it any easier for me nor would he tell me why he never sent for you after you left so i don't know what's going on still but i wanted to see you again i wanted to see you too come speak quickly with me that our time together here may be as full as possible all right I just... I need to know what happened between you and father. Why are you here and not with us? I couldn't live with myself anymore down there. After I left Olympus, a long story in itself, I came to be with your father in the underworld. It was a shock, to say the least. The others in your father's house were welcoming enough, but... I never felt that I belonged. I know the feeling, I think. But you stayed. Long enough to have me. Those whom I've spoken to about you, it's as you said, they have fond memories of you. And then you even had a child. Did father... did he mistreat you? No, no. Your father could be very difficult, though he was gentle with me. Soon enough we got on fine, better than fine at times, but... When I was with child, why, I struggled terribly. Because... A child born of surface dwellers could not live down there. Could not live down there according to whom exactly? The fates? According to them, yes. According to your father and to Nyx. Even having heard, I took my chances anyway. But when you emerged stillborn, it was too much. I fled. I fled and came to reside here. Above the notice of the underworld, beneath the notice of Olympus. Uh, but why would father lie to you if he never wanted you or never wanted me? Surely he had the means. I don't know. I'm wondering the same. But oh, look at you, Zagreus. We're running out of time. It's happening again. Stay with me, please. I'm trying. But I can't stay that much longer, I don't think. Oh, my dear son. Then please, ask Hades what you asked of me. Why he would lie. Tell him I must know, the same as you. And you farewell. Until we meet again. Until we... those natural causes mortals talk about. Probably. Oh, how could he? You. Quite a mess you've created, I must say, Father. After being of no help whatsoever when it comes to disentangling it all. Though this isn't the place to talk, right? No, it most certainly is not. Though I take it it shall not be long before another of our private meetings then. Count on that. Pray tell me something, Zagreus. How is she lately, hmm? Eurydice, I mean. Her hair, fall colors or full bloom. Her poise, as proud and supple as the oak. She's all right, Orpheus. Seems comfortable within her little place in Asphodel. 
The only thing that seems to bother her at all is when I mention you. Is there nothing you can do to patch things up? Alas, I cannot change the past, my friend. So no, as you can plainly see by now, I'm dead to her. Rightfully so, at that. But that's just a technicality. I mean, you're here, she's there. So what if you're not breathing anymore? You have all eternity ahead of you. Don't you want to see her again? Don't I want to see my Eurydice again? Why, yes. That more than anything, my friend. Provided she wanted to see me. I tried once to disturb her everlasting rest, as you will know. And that did not pan out as I had hoped. You're not making this easy, Orpheus. Somehow I always knew, you know, that you were not my birth mother. Uh, I mean, look at Hypnos and Thanatos. There's no way that I could have been related to them. Everybody knew, and yet, when I finally learned for certain, it was still a shock. I always knew, in turn, that you would learn the truth of it eventually. And I was fearful of what would occur after that time arrived. I'm grateful it has come and gone. Though, tell me, I still find I call you child. Is your preference that I cease to use such terms from this point on? No, Nyx, please, it's quite all right. You may not have given birth to me, but you still cared for me. I never doubt that. Likewise, are you sure it's all right that I continue to address you by name? It is more than all right, my child. You were never supposed to live. Took all of Nyx's strength to circumvent what should have been a certainty. Now you cannot stay dead. Such is the wry humor of the fates. Nyx saved me. So, according to the fates, I was never meant to be born, since neither you nor mother are of the underworld, something like that? Or was it just another lie you told, to mother and whoever else? Ah, you think everything a lie. The realm beneath our feet was appointed to me on certain conditions, not that I had much of a choice. Among them, a one-time surface dweller such as I would never have an heir. You really believe that? Then why attempt to have a child anyway? You don't know anything. Why anyone would choose to have a child is a mystery to me. The fates said I would never have an heir. Perhaps this was all they meant. Blast you, boy. You should have never sprung from chaos. Why? You. How? Got you. In the name of Hades. Stygius shuddered as I picked it up. Beyond the frozen overlook, await the first glimpse of the sun to your left, then onward through the cold. So bright. Ugh. You're back. I'm back, Mother. father led you to believe that I could not survive past birth. He didn't lie to you exactly, so he says. Wait, slow down, Zagreus. What do you mean? He told me you would not survive your birth, yet here you are. How wasn't that a lie? Because he thought it was the truth. The fates appointed him dominion over the entire underworld, but he would never have an heir, so he was led to understand. He never expected me to be born, much less survive. He never expected you to survive. Then, forgive my asking, but why did you? How did you? 
The fates are not known for making mistakes when it comes to such things. Nyx saved my life. Or gave me life, I guess. Then raised me in your absence. The fates are her daughters, right? Maybe she persuaded them to go easier on me. She cannot say more. In any case, apparently it took her quite a while to revive me, and by then you were gone. Nyx. Of course she was involved. I only managed to escape because of her. Then she restored my stillborn son to life and nurtured him? And I never would have known unless that child, fully grown and having learned the truth, defied his father and then found me here. Yes, although we still don't know how come father and Nyx never sent for you. Though, uh, let me ask you something, mother, if you please. If you had found out that I was born and very much alive, would you have come back? Would I have come back to see my only child? Had I but known you lived, I would have gladly gone through hell again to see you, Zagreus. Of course I would have. Well then, what if... Uh, what if Father didn't want you doing that? What if he didn't want me coming back to him? Or seeing you? Oh no, you're fading again, Zagreus. You've pushed yourself too hard. But what is it you meant by what you said? It's just a hunch of mine. I'll be back. Father wanted her to leave, didn't he? on purpose just to get this back to me, didn't you? Didn't you? I have a secret, Hypnos. I've died on purpose every single time just to see you. Natural causes got you again, huh? That's a real shame. I mean, imagine one day you're just going about your business and then, ah, you're dead. Although I guess you don't have to imagine it like I do. <laughs> no. How did it go, lad? You've been gone a while. For good reason, I hope. I found her again, sir, and we were able to talk some more. But I have so many questions left for her, and Father's certainly not been of any help. Well, first of all, good work. I knew you had it in you. Secondly, you know what you have to do. Go find her, for as many chances as it takes. It's not just her you've sought. It's the answers to those questions that you have. Yes, I will. Everything is as it always was. I told you, boy. I told you. There's no escape from here. Learn that the hard way, then. You could have told me more important things. Mother left because she never even knew I was alive, thanks to you. She's got a lot of questions herself, as you can probably imagine. I'm headed back to her. You're going to cooperate? <laughs> Nonsense. Listen to me. If you have any sense remaining in that head of yours, I caution you not to discuss this here and now. Let me go. Let me find her. She demands it. No. I'll hear no demands from you. It is my humble duty to oblige my favorite boy with all the treats as I am able to procure. Knowing the watchdog's never-ending appetite for treats, the prince obliges him. The vicious, triple-headed Cerberus shows some restraint for now. You don't like it when I pet your other heads, huh? No. I 
I'm here. My son. It's me. So good to see you again, Zagreus. Since last you left, I couldn't help but think the worst about what happened after I had left. Or soon before. You mentioned Nyx. You don't suppose that she and Hades wanted me out of the way? I just don't think that can be. Though let me ask you, how long did you know Father? And Nyx for that matter. Did they seem trustworthy? Yes. I knew them long enough to have decided, yes, that they were trustworthy. As much as anyone I've ever met. But I also know never to be trusting to a fault. I have to consider the possibility I was deceived. Especially since neither of them is being forthcoming with me even now, right? And yet, I have this feeling something else is going on, Mother. The way that Father speaks of you, the way Nick speaks of you, I think they care for you. <laughs> Well, they have a funny way of showing it, I think. Your father, so... You have to get through him each time you visit me? I do. Mother, what if... What if father thinks that he's protecting you? Have you considered that? Protecting me? Why, Zagreus, what do you mean by that? As you can see, I can fend for myself. Well, uh, you're from Olympus, aren't you? But the gods... None of them seem to know you're here, so... What? How would you know something like that? Zagreus? Ah, oh, curse the fates. You're leaving me again. I... I won't be long. Uh, mm, uh. Hold that thought, Mother. Mr. Hypnos, I, uh, wanted to check in with you again. Regarding the procession line that's right in front of you, right over there, it's moving pretty slow. Oh, no! Those shades, they just go on and on and on and on forever, blathering about this or that. I mean... Lord Hades, it's a wonder he can stand it, listening to them every day or night. Um, well, it's just, I think you were supposed to keep things moving, so if they're taking too long, I guess maybe you could say something, or any bright ideas? It's a toughie, Dusa, because I think it's important that the shades who wait their turn, why, that they get a chance to say their piece. But it's a real tricky situation you bring up, so let me tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to sleep on it, and then get back to you okay well if you don't though i'll check in with you again later i guess because i'm under orders so um bye goodbye so you can tell me in due time if you decide to lad but i do have a question same as you did going into this why did she leave why did she leave you in particular it's that she didn't even know i was alive Sounds as though Nyx revived me sometime after I was born, but by that point, Mother had already left, and they let her be, for reasons I am trying to find out. Ah, oh, that's quite a bit to take in there. And it explains more than a bit, I think. Look, I'm not one to speculate too much. I trust you'll find the answers that you seek as you proceed. Thanks, sir. What? You're really staying, Zagreus? I mean, between the generally ill-conceived attempts to reach the surface every so often. I am. I figured it's the only way I could continue interrupting you while you try to do your job. You work too hard then, live a little, right? Huh. Well then, I'll see what I can do about that. You'll have to show me what you mean by live a little, though. I'll hold you to that. You're bound to my domain, boy. <laughs> Cerberus is uninterested in conversing at this time. You like this stuff, don't you, boy? Well, good, because I like sneaking it over to you. The delectable taste of nectar is enough to briefly sate even the ferocious appetite of the Hound of Hell. So much water. Uncle Poseidon's realm. 
I'm here. Ah, you're back. Hello, Mother. Son, I have to ask you, how much do you know about your relatives upon Olympus? I think I know quite a bit by now. I've been in steady contact with Athena, Zeus, and other members of the family ever since I first left Father's house. They've been assisting me in getting here. No. Zagreus, what have you done? You've let them here? No, no. They think... They think I'm trying to escape from Father so that I can join them on their mountaintop. At least I think that's what they think. Most of them, anyway. But then, does Hades know of this? That Olympus is involved? He does. Both he and Nyx. In fact, it's Nyx who put me and Olympus into contact. I could never have broken free of the underworld if not for their help. So Nyx and Hades are against each other then? And Olympus is helping you? But they don't know I'm here as far as you're aware. That's right, more or less. Nyx and Father seem to put up with each other. Don't seem to have much of a choice. Though ever since I learned of you, Nyx has been helping me to find you. While Father's tried to stop me. That fool. What was he thinking? What is he thinking? Do you suppose he thinks that he's protecting me from them? I... Uh, I think maybe he does think so indeed. Because now having met my relatives upon Olympus, I can definitely see that they can be a bit vindictive about things. Vindictiveness runs in the family, my son. Then if Olympus is involved, that would explain a lot. I'm here, not there with them, as you can see. But, oh, it seems we'll have to speak some more when next you return. When I return... Fine, all right. Nix, my mother was quite concerned to learn Olympus has been aiding me. Did you... haven't you put her in danger by involving them? Was there no other way? No, there was not. She has been in danger all along. I concealed her, yes, even from me. But it is not enough. I do not think that you could have found her without the Olympians. And if I did not reveal your existence to them, if they discovered who you are, it would be worse. Ugh, oh, what a mess. How are we going to fix this? The Olympians maintain belief that you are trying to reach them. I trust we can sustain this understanding for a long, long time. Perhaps not forever, but long enough to discover a solution. Perhaps with your birth mother's help. I'll be careful. Appreciate you. You're not going to stop me. To think Olympus has been aiding you. You must be so grateful to them for their aid, without which none of this would have been possible. Yeah, about that. Father, did... did you let Mother go because you feared Olympus would find out? And not respond well to the circumstances if they did? <laughs> Be grateful they have not found out as yet for all your meddling. You do not know them as well as you think. Ask yourself why she left Olympus and how. Or better yet, ask her. Well, she seems quite lovely, so knowing you, you probably tricked her into signing a pact to come join you or something. Since you weren't allowed on Olympus, why not have Olympus come to you? Ha! <laughs> Surprisingly not distant from the truth. I took her, boy. I took her down with me. Is that what you wish to hear? Does that anger you? Come, bring forth that anger then. The world you seek out there, it's even crueler than the one you know. You shall not. I did it. In the name of Hades. Malfon Shudder?
mother isn't far. Warmer, finally. Oh, it's you. It's only me. I could not stand it on Olympus, Sagrius. The blustering, the posturing, my overbearing mother. None of it. I would have left the mountain voluntarily, except... Except Father absconded with you, didn't he? Dragged you down with him into the underworld. So if Olympus were to find that out, I shudder to think of the consequences. That fool is trying to protect me, even now. It wasn't he who absconded with me, my son. And it's more complicated even than that. I was content to leave. Willing to make my life within the underworld. With your father. I dare not ask who did bring you to father then. So essentially, you ran away from home to live with him. I mean no disrespect, but... Did you realize what you were getting yourself into? We have a tendency to be impetuous when we are younger, Zagreus. I heard all about your father before we met. Admired paintings of him. It was very awkward at first. But he had a bluntness, I fancied. A sense of principle. I much preferred him to his brothers, I can tell you that. So, uh, then you secretly left Mount Olympus to be with the God of the Dead in the Underworld, and Olympus never found out. What do you suppose would happen if they did? I think... There would be war between Olympus and your father, Zagreus, if they found out. Especially now, after all this. And after all this time. They slew their parents once. If the Titans could be wiped from this world, so can we all. So it makes sense. If father, he agrees with you and thinks that leaving you in hiding here, that it's the only way he can prevent that war. I can see how your father, shrewd but also single-minded as he was, might have followed such a line of reasoning as that. Oh, Zagreus. What have I done? No. What have I done? Uh, I can't. I need to fix this. Hey, I know you. <coughs> hey, wow, you did it! According to my list here, it says you've died, what, 50 times at least? That's more than anybody signed around here, I think. I'm sure you can catch up. Hey, tell me something, sir. Any rumors swirling about the house regarding the outcome of a certain interaction I have with my father recently? Involving a great deal of violence. Because I'd like for everyone to know, I won. I wouldn't know of what you mean there, lad. For there are certain subjects so forbidden here right now that not even rumors can take hold. But just between us for the time, congratulations. Truly. Thank you, sir. I didn't know whether I had it in me. As for the other bit, I'll keep it quiet then, for now. Probably shouldn't be tying my sense of self-worth to praise from friends, acquaintances, and strangers anyway. Indeed, lad. He's done it, Cerberus. The much-feared Cerberus licks endlessly at something on the floor. Take care, boy. Not everybody knows exactly how to give you pets and live to tell of it, right, boy? I understand you have attempted to persuade our court musician to resume his craft. That is among the relatively useful tasks to which you have applied yourself of late. I can't be completely sure, but what you said just now, I think, contained some of the component pieces of a compliment? I'm certain that your boasts and twists of words shall soon inspire him to greater acts of compositional superiority one of these days or nights. Your Hello, methods friend. didn't seem to do the trick. Approved. Wouldn't mind an extra helping of gemstones while I'm ransacking out there. You wish to mine my realm for gemstones, be my guest. You know, mate, sometimes I worry that you're taking my tall tales rather seriously. You're not really going about and telling everyone this stuff, are you? Come now, my friend. I know this is a test of faith, 
Of course I am committed to the spread of such heroic deeds as yours. And I do so enjoy getting to hear them first. What have I done? Child, quickly now, before you go. I know how all of this must look. I know that I was true to her, Persephone, and that I think fondly on the time she spent with us. Of course, Nyx. Though, why did she really leave the Underworld, do you think? Besides, because of me. So what if she thought I died at birth? She did not feel that she belonged. It was a very difficult adjustment she was forced to make. And she feared that she would inevitably end up caught between Olympus and this realm. That she might start a war. A war? Wars have been fought for less, I understand. And father must have been a real burden, too. You do not know. Ask her yourself about her time with him. But I have already said too much, and I cannot say more. You've said more than enough. I'll see you, Nyx. <laughs> Haven't you had enough? So, boy, did you ask her? About how she came to join me in the Underworld? Did you confirm all your suspicions, then? You didn't drag her down to hell yourself, apparently. You're not going to tell me who did, though I can well imagine. Your brothers got to reign forever on Olympus while you got sent down into the Underworld. So they gave you a consolation prize, didn't they? You make such accusations knowing next to nothing. Careless as ever. Poseidon had nothing to do with it. He knows even less than you. If you value her existence or your own, it would be wise to keep it that way. And to turn back. You cannot escape. None of us can. On great fall. It's wonderful to see you, but I need to ask something of you. That you not visit me again here in this place. Both for your safety and for mine. For what? Because of what would happen if the Olympians found out? So after everything, you're taking father's side in all of this? I am. My father is no fool when it comes to matters such as this. Besides, all that has happened... It's my fault. I was selfish. And now both sides of our family threaten to be torn apart. Your fault? So let's say you never left Olympus. Then it'd be just like you thought until quite recently, I think, that I'd never existed. Besides, they haven't found out any of this. What makes you so sure they will all of a sudden? Nyx may be veiling you from them as she veiled me when I fled here myself. But even her own powers aren't infallible. Each time you visit me, you are incurring risk. One small slip, and they shall find me. Discover your deception. Go home, Zagreus. Please. Go home with me, Mother. You came here under false pretenses. I haven't fought all this way over and over again, only to turn back now. I need you in my life. How can you just turn me away like this? Oh, Zagreus. I cannot return. After all that happened between Hades and me, and everyone, I just cannot fathom the idea. Besides, the risks we're taking would be even greater if Olympus were to find me there with him and you. Then uh, you're just going to stay here, alone in the middle of nowhere in this little garden forever after we part ways just like that my son i know you've made hard choices and sacrifices to be here with me and i'm forever grateful to have finally met you this is my home now yes while your home is below 
Please, if not for your sake, then for mine. Do not return. I love you, Zagreus. Goodbye. Mother, I... Blast. Goodbye. She can't do this to me. Uh, um, I was just resting my eyes. You won't tell anybody, right? What is the matter, child? I sense your distress. Not the specific cause. Mother doesn't want to see me again. I mean, she asked me not to return. Thinks the risk is too great. Oh. That is a fair enough assessment. What shall you do? I'm going back. Good. She was the queen. Queen of the underworld. My queen. Commanding reverence and awe and fear. She was not just... What was the term you used? A consolation prize. You are as disrespectful to her as you are to me. Oh, what would you even know? You claim so much respect for her, yet you didn't even respect her enough to tell her what happened after she left. But what am I saying? I know you love her still, Father. That best explains all the terrible choices you've made. All the terrible choices I've made. By the time you have existed for as long as I have, pray you will have made fewer. Although I fear you shall surpass me in at least this one regard. Mother, you can't do this to me, Mother. You said Father is no fool, and neither are you. There has to be a way to fix this. Not just with you and Father, but with everyone. There has to be a way. You have your father's stubbornness. Listen to me. You're endangering everything you care about by coming here. Don't you understand? Besides... What? Besides what? Tell me, please. The truth is that I like it here, Zagreus. I've done well for myself on my own. And your father, he has his domain to look after. The feelings he once had for me, feelings we shared, they fade with time. You'll understand someday. No, I won't be understanding anything of the sort. Father still loves you, I'm sure of it. And he owes you an apology, damn it. I cannot make amends with you on his behalf. It's something only you can do together. What do you mean he still loves me, Zagreus? How would you know? Because uh, I'm his blasted son, that's how I know. But trust me isn't ever good enough, I know that too. I'll prove it to you, Mother. Just you wait and see. Oh, you're fading, son. You don't need to prove anything to me. Please don't do anything rash. All of us made our choices. Now we have to live with them. Isn't it enough to know that I'm safe? that I am content to be alone. No, uh, it's not, it's not enough for me because this blasted family, it cannot just keep hiding from its problems, running from them. We're stuck with one another. We, we have to do everything we can for one another. I, oh, my dear boy. <coughs> we have to. No. Not yet. God damn it all again. Well, welcome to the house of Hades, where death is our life. Achilles, I need your help. What is it, lad? What's wrong? What can I do? Let me in father's chambers, please. That's high atop the list of things I'm not to do for anyone, and under any circumstances. What is it you need? I've never even been in there myself. I don't know. I don't know. But if I know Father, and I think I do, he's got to have something of hers in there. Of Mother's. She still doesn't get it, doesn't believe me about him, and I said I'd prove it, that he cares for her. All right, slow down. I understand. Look, this can get me in a lot of trouble like you've no idea. And not just me, so be careful and be quick while he's still out. Take this and go. 
Don't leave anything there out of place, all right? Thank you. The stoic lord and master of the house possesses wealth beyond imagining, a portion of which he has used for a crisp set of attire for every passing day. I knew it. It's just capes. In his lord father's very private chambers, Zagreus, the lock-removing prince, discovers a most delicately painted likeness of none other than Persephone herself. A coat of dust suggests it has remained here for some time. He's never stopped thinking of her. Oh, what a fool. Find what you need. I did, thank you. Zagreus, you're back. I'm here, Mother. Of everything down in that gloomy house, I miss old Cerberus the most, I think. But I miss other things as well. The lack of light was gentler on my skin. Not being as cold. And Nyx and her young sons. It was all very odd, but... Mother, in Father's bedchambers. Mind you, there's almost nothing there, just neatly sorted rows of all his samey capes. But on his nightstand is a portrait of you, wearing a regal crown of red laurels. A queen. His queen. I was fitted for those garments when I first arrived. They were not my customary style. So Hades has a portrait of me still. Why would he put it back on display now? No, no, he's never let anybody in his bedchambers. I broke in, don't you see? He didn't put your portrait back on display. It's always been there, ever since you left. So, Mother, why do you suppose he would do that? Because he... because he loves me still. Is that what you want me to say? Have you ever loved him yourself? All I really wanted was to leave Olympus. I didn't exactly abscond. I doubt I had much of a choice, but I went willingly. Perhaps Zeus knew how I felt, and thought he was doing me a favor. As for Hades, I grew to love him, yes. He always gave me my space. Won't you, uh, won't you please talk to him? Or visit Cerberus again, or Nyx? As for Olympus, surely all of you can figure something out? I just don't know, my son. Olympus is behind me, in the underworld. I cannot imagine I would be very welcome there after all this time. <laughs> but you are the queen. I have done virtually everything within my power to prevent this. All of it. For nothing. The fates were not content to saddle me within the earth. They mock me still. Maybe they just think you're in the wrong. And that you're an obstinate, overbearing, miserable excuse for a husband and father. Don't you understand I'm trying to fix the problems you caused? Since you're so unwilling to do it yourself. <sighs> You're right. I was unwilling. I made my choices in all this. I loved her, yes. I loved her terribly. But now, it seems I'm merely delaying the inevitable. Go then. Go to her. But should harm befall her, I shall bring my worst wrath upon whomever is to blame. Including you. What? You're letting me go just like that? You're just afraid of getting struck down again. You're serious. Go. Before I reconsider. Goodbye, Father. Whoa.
Zagreus? Mother? Mother, wait. What is all this? Oh, Zagreus, I almost missed you. Truthfully, I hoped that I could make it a surprise. Make what a surprise? My arrival. I'm going. To your home. To Cerberus. Nyx. Your father. Your... Really? Mother, you... You're serious? I am. Now, if you could just help me pack up my remaining things. Only a few loose odds I'm bringing, just in case. If we hurry, maybe you could join me. Rather than return the customary way. Not something a mother ever wants to see. Join you? But... Wait, how are you going to get back? I... Hadn't thought that far ahead. Just so happens I know somebody who can give us a ride. Charon? <sighs> Doubtless he has pressing matters to attend to. So let's not keep him waiting any longer, son. Come on, then. <sighs> I'm still alive. But how? You're on the River Styx. No longer in the mortal realm entirely. I can't believe that this is happening. I know. My heart is racing. Nothing like a river journey to remind oneself that there's no turning back. Seriously. Though, even after all of this, it's like we only just met. I have so many questions for you still. We'll have plenty of time for them, I think. For now, best we keep quiet. Pretend we're just a couple of dead souls on their final voyage.
We're here. We're here. This is embarrassing, but I don't know the way to get back in. Except, you know, the customary way. That's quite all right. I do. In the name of Persephone the Queen, open the gates! I spent many days tending this garden. Or nights? Quite difficult to tell the time here. Persephone. I... Cerberus! I missed you so. And dutiful as ever, aren't you? I'm sorry. Know that I am sorry. Hades. You look tired. Though I am not the only one you ought to be apologizing to. I know. I know why. Why have you returned? If Olympus... If your mother discovers what happened, not even Zeus, not even he could stop what would transpire here. Oh, I have a thought or two about how we can settle that. Though I shall need for you and Zagreus to cooperate with me on a solution. Or, if you'd rather, I could just return the way I came. A solution? What, do you intend to have them over for Ambrosia? Not even you can fix a broken family, Persephone. You're right, Hades. I can't. Certainly not by myself. So are you going to help me or what? I would do anything that you would ask of me. Then first, talk to your son. Hmm. Zagreus, you have already met Persephone, our queen. I expect for you to show deference to her at all times. Wow, father, you called me by my name. What is this strange sensation that I feel? Perhaps it's this deference of which you speak. Oh, stop it, both of you! Don't make me regret this, Hades. Speak honestly with him. About yourself, not me. Go on. Yes, I... Zagreus. I know there have been times when I've let my mood reflect on you. I showed very little patience. Question your judgment, often when my own was flawed. Thus, I apologize to you, my son. I have no excuses, and I ask no forgiveness. What about the part where you lied to me about Mother? Do you apologize for that? Your foul moods inventing them on me. I've long since come to expect that from you, and I resented you for it. But I always thought you're honest. Your mother did not come here willingly when we originally met. When she left, believing you were stillborn, the decision was final. I believed that she was better off without the lot of us, Olympus included. Deceiving both of you, it tore against my being, but it needed to be done. Well, you didn't need to vent all that inner turmoil onto me throughout my life. Though, I think I understand. I only wish I could have understood sooner. So, uh, what now? I've grown so used to ransacking your domain, I think I'm really going to miss it. About that. Your ransacking revealed many flaws in our security. The types that never get into reports. Our reputation rides on there being no escape from here. Would you keep trying to break free? Not for my sake, but for this realm. For the Queen. Zagreus, if you keep fighting out of here, it shall help keep appearances that everything is as it always was. Question, Father. Let's say I accept. When next I reach the surface, is it still going to be you waiting up there? Ah, oh, boy. If you think for an instant that I shall go easier on you because of this, you'll soon learn otherwise. So I just battle to the surface and repeatedly kill my own father, then? You have it half correct. Perhaps you'll also tend to my little cottage while you're in the area. The garden doesn't take much care at all. I'd like to keep the place in decent shape. In case I cannot suffer this for long. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see what I can do. Just do the best you can. And clearly I've work to do as well. 
We have a lot of it ahead of us, I'd say. So, shall we get started then? Thus was Hades, feared ruler of the dead, reunited with his long-lost bride, Persephone, the queen. And together with their firstborn son, Prince Zacrius, they would go on to reign eternally beneath the earth in relative harmony. The queen's return marked an occasion of enthusiastic joy, so much as possible in that dark, gloom-filled realm of the dead. And even after all this time, Olympus never did discover what transpired there, in the underworld. After all this time, it's only been a few days, but it's been good. Mother and father are back together, made some new friends, got this fancy painting. Easy. All is well in the underworld. I can't entirely get used to seeing us together like this. We've matters with Olympus to resolve. They don't know I'm here, most of them, besides Zeus, maybe Athena. They think you're Nyx's son rather than mine, and that your goal is still to join them on their mountaintop. What a mess. What can we do? The gods of Olympus have all been very good to me for the most part. I don't feel great about deceiving them. They keep trying to help me escape. What can we do? We can make peace with them, and let them know the truth. So much of it as they would tolerate. Diplomacy is not your father's strong suit. But I'm going to need you two to do exactly as I say. Do you understand? Yes, Mother. So what do you intend to do, and how do I fit in? We're going to invite all of them to a little family gathering. Here. And you shall personally deliver them their invitation, Sagrius. Mother, are you serious? So we're just going to have a bash with them, and they'll just see you after all this time and be fine with everything? They certainly shall not be fine with everything. But Hades and I will be prepared to tell them what they need to hear. Don't worry. I shall do the talking. What are you going to say? Oh, you know. That we met, fell in love, eloped, had a child. A child who, once grown, sought desperately to reconnect with his extended family. To the chagrin of his grim lord father. That's... that's all true. As individual statements, at least. Fortunately, our loving and dutiful son at last persuaded his mother and father to reveal their secretive relationship. And make an effort to rejoin their great family. Your mother won't be happy that you left. I'll deal with her. Perhaps I'll have to visit her and the rest of them from time to time, if that's what it shall take. But I'll be back. I have no choice. Did you know that if you eat the seeds of an underworld pomegranate, then you cannot leave for one month out of the year per seed? What? No, I never knew that. Neither do they. How soon is this family gathering you have in mind going to take place? Soon after you invite them all, I hope. Now go. And trust in me, all right? We have a lot to learn of trust, I think. I know what you mean. I'll let you know when it's done. Now, here you go, Servi, and, um, don't eat me, please. I mean, bye! Fate to be merciful. Mother. Zagreus. It's done, Mother. Father, the invitations. Personally sent to everyone with whom I've been in contact. So what do we do now? Excellent, Zagreus. Congratulate him, Hades. On a job well done. Uh, Persephone, how can you be so certain your request was executed to your satisfaction? It's known as trust, Hades. Or faith. They're similar. Try one sometime. It'll be good for you. As for what we do next, why, we've a great big feast we must prepare. This house is not a suitable location for such guests. Dionysus alone shall bring ruin to this place. Or... 
the fateful thing that you said. Yes, good. Now then, we have a lot of work to go around, so why don't we call everyone on staff and let them in on this, and dole out suitable responsibilities, all right? All right. All right. All right. Thus did all of Olympus journey deep into the underworld, all together, for the very first time. The Queen Persephone revealed herself in all her splendor, much to their surprise, and told them everything she indicated to her son. She eloped with Grimlord Hades, she said, mothering a fire-stepping prince who sought to reconnect with his extended family. Hades and Persephone at first refused his wish, but so moved were they by his relentless struggles to the surface that at last they decided to heed their willful Zagreus and reach out, for his and everybody's sake. The Olympians listened to all this in stunned silence. Then Zeus himself began to laugh. Welcome back into the family, he said. After the shock subsided, the festivities began. I say, big brother, you and your better half put on a positively smashing night. It's a relief for all of us, knowing Persephone is safe and sound. And mother to as noble of a son as my good nephew there. Well, little brother, the Queen and I in turn appreciate you all taking time out of your doubtless busy lives to come all this distance to my house. I'm certain that it's very modest in comparison to Mount Olympus, but... I trust that you were suitably entertained. Oh, <laughs> of course, of course, Hades. Now then, farewell, and let us keep in better touch from here. Hmm. Farewell indeed, Lord Zeus. When finally the great feast ended, all the Olympians returned to their mountain abode, fully satisfied. As for the House of Hades, it required thorough cleansing, from the rafters to the floor. Such revelry, of course, is unbecoming of the name of Hades, and the fearsome reputation of the underworld. For if mortals were to have no fear of death, then they would have no fear of anything at all. A well-kept family secret, then, this would live on to be. I'd say that went about as well as could have been expected. And the cleanup wasn't all that bad, for the most part. Well, fortunate Uncle Zeus seemed to catch on right away and went along with it. But this whole elaborate tale you spun, I remember how hurt I felt when I found out Father lied to me about you. Now we're lying to Olympus. What if they find out? Even if they don't, I don't like it. Zagreus, I may not be an expert, but here's what I've come to understand about how families work. At least our own. The thing is, how we speak to one another is even more important than the words we use. I think, deep down, everyone in our family knows this. You're saying they all knew you weren't being perfectly honest and went along with it anyway. I guess the pomegranate thing in particular was a bit of a stretch. The common ground in our family is that we want peace. Besides Ares, though even he would rather the conflict occur elsewhere. That elaborate tale, it's less a deception and more a concession. A way of saying, let's move on from the past and start anew. No hard feelings. You don't have hard feelings? What about father? What about Demeter? Well, let's see. My hard feelings are nothing next to the joy of having my son in my life. Your father never imagined his relationship with me could be out in the open. And my mother, she's just glad I'm alive. And Uncle Zeus is glad things didn't turn out worse for him. I get the sense he acts a bit impulsively at times and deals with the consequences later. What can I tell you, Zagreus? We're family. You've said it yourself to me before. We're stuck with one another. That any of us like each other in the slightest. It's a wonder and a blessing, I think. Yeah, I know what you mean. Thanks, Mother. I think I'll be heading out again soon. See you when I get back. Sounds good. The I'll house contractor, there. up in lights. <laughs>